activity today for your health. The Centers for Disease Control estimates that up to 3.8 million concussions occur every year. Oftentimes, those injuries are sustained by athletes participating in contact sports such as hockey and football. And while most concussions are mild, the proper diagnosis and treatment are vital to making a full recovery. Joining us now is Michael Pen Pendleton of the Southwest Brain Performance Center. Good morning. Good morning. So tell us a little bit about the Southwest Brain Performance Center. Well, we are a, a chiropractic-based functional neurology clinic. So okay. I have myself and another doctor in there who's doing some um, brain-based EEG examinations. Okay. So, and what, what does that mean? So he can do scans to look at your brain waves, okay. alpha, beta, delta, theta. So he's doing one thing. I'm doing a little more th um, uh, different things when it comes to concussions and we're uh, dealing with things uh, with basically the vision system and balance system. Okay, now we talked about some of the concussions are a, a lot of athletes, and Correct. as a parent, mm -hmm. this really, really scares me. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there, there's a lot of news stories about concussions. Now, do you guys, you guys treat that kind of, um, those kind of concussions, correct. is that correct? Correct, we would say we're, we're more second tier, so we want uh, any a uh, kid who's had a concussion to go to the emergency room. Okay. Yeah. Make sure they have everything checked out. They need CAT scans, MRIs. But if they do not recover from their concussion symptoms after three weeks, four weeks, uh, that's where we would like to come in and help out. Yeah, so what can happen if you don't get the proper treatment on a concussion? Well, unfortunately, the research shows that if uh, you get more than one concussion or even just one concussion, you can start having changes in the brain uh, that can lead to problems later on down the line. You know, the worst, of course, being the, the chronic traumatic encephalopathy from the movie Concussion. Uh -huh. um, and they're even linking um, dementia and Alzheimer's to uh, old or past concussions. Wow, so um, do you guys have any techniques that you guys use to you know, work with these, to treat these concussions sure. or athletes? Sure, well, you have to diagnose them correctly first. Okay. So we use uh, different uh, forms. We do uh, have an oculomotor or vision test. Okay. We do uh, computerized balance testing and we do a neuropsychological and reaction time uh, testing through uh, iPad who's, that was designed by Cleveland Clinic. We get that diagnosis and then we can hold or those uh, results, then we can come to more of a specific diagnosis of where maybe the injury is at. Yeah. And then we can prescribe or go after that type of treatment for that area of, that's injured. It, now, if, if you have a child that you think may have been injured, mm -hmm. you know, maybe last year or in the mm -hmm. summer for football, can you still diagnose something like that? They can, and it would be those three diagnostic tests. Uh -huh. And if they come out stellar and they're good, then like they don't have any r residual problems from that concussion. Yeah. Uh, but you can see things, especially with eye movements and balance, huh. and that's proven in the literature. Great, so if there is someone that wants more information on the things that you g do and about concussions, where can they go? Uh, website, so Southwest Brain Performance Company, which is swbrainpc.com. Awesome. awesome, or you can always go to foxnewmexico.com for information as well.